All right, guys. Good afternoon. It's 109. We're greeted with a beautiful day. Holy sh Nikes, look at that. Oh, man. Ah, you, you start your vlog with no cursing. I'm going to start mine with holy shit. <laughs> It's bad. Holy it's bad. Shit. Which we we just. <laughs> but you know, it's ironic though. The last time I saw cold, not the last time, but um, the last time I saw snow, I was with him at his house in March when we went to New York and Washington. If you remember that, it snowed like six inches. Now he's back and he brings the snow again. And instead of my car sitting outside overnight in the snow, now it's his. So this is what we have now. Thank God. And then this part's dicked. There's just a cat under his car for some reason. It's kind of sticking here. I don't think they've salted, at least as of now. I came out here a couple of minutes ago and pulled his plate frame off the back, so that won't get destroyed in the Vinta. All right, for any nerds <laughs> that know anything about K-Temp, which is the coolant temp, his right now, we're having trouble focusing for some reason. It was six when we started. It's up to 10 right now. That is the coldest I have ever seen a coolant temperature. I mean, that's that's just above freezing. Good thing it's antifreeze in there. Okay, guys, it's almost four o'clock. Colt is at his interview at Red Lobster. Look what's back. We've been over at the grandparents doing some stuff for them. Did a little bit of shopping, and he wanted the car driven, and this one hasn't been driven for a while, so I'm going to use it for a little bit and keep things moving. So he's in there for his interview. It's uh, nine minutes of four. He has an interview at four. It should be pretty fast, so I drove him over here. Uh, then we're gonna go back to their house and the 540 is there. Um, it stopped snowing, it still isn't very warm. <clears throat> Let me see what the car thinks. The temperature is 32 degrees. Uh, so that's just freezing and there's still plenty of, plenty of snow out here. So uh, we'll talk to him when he gets out, see how the interview went. This may be the new location. You know, he worked at Red Lobster in Baltimore, so now we're here in Ohio at another Red Lobster. In response to Jake, I just read your comment a few minutes ago on yesterday's video. Yes, he's here. Uh, he's staying with me for a couple days until he can find an apartment or a room to rent, and then he's going to move there probably in Hudson, Stowe, Kent, Cuyahoga Falls area, hopefully like Kent, so it's pretty close. Um, I don't remember what else you asked. Yeah, the pain, the car was kind of a pain. It wasn't hard, it was just a bunch of steps. Like, I knew how to do everything independently. How to take the console out, I didn't take the console out, but how to remove like the driver's lower dash I've done. I've taken the glove box out before. I've done the trim and the display before. Um, so it was putting it all together that kind of made it a headache, but it, it wasn't that bad. So yeah, it seems to work fine. I haven't driven it yet because the roads are crap, but it's still clean. Um, but I think everything will be fine. We'll have to do a test drive uh, fairly soon, and then I'll let you know how it goes. And that screw that didn't screw in right, I don't know what you mean by that. So comment and um, let me know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? You opened your son. You are not used to winter. God damn it. What is this? No bueno. Get it out of there before it melts. Help me. <laughs> oh, God. Good thing we know how this is put together. Yesterday, I put your window down a half an inch, and I got snow inside. You just turned your car into frosty here. We can get it out and then dry it. Oh, God. I don't think I have any towels left. New do I. <laughs> the size difference between these cars. And what's amazing is he's still behind me. <laughs> it looks good back there. I, I, I gotta find the zoom while using only one hand. Look at that. I don't know if it's focused right at all. Oh my god. White halos on a black E39 looks really damn good. Size as it was in the old box. 
All right, well, we're here. He's setting up stuff. I don't, I don't even know what, but he's doing something. Goonie bells. This camera is much better than mine. God damn it. There's another $300. Well, good morning, guys. What's up? It's 155. We have been pretty busy. Let's give them a uh, showdown of what we've been working on for the last couple of hours. Got a lot of stuff done, a lot of organization, a lot of cleaning. Mmm. Guy corner. Guy corner, yeah. Let's let it focus. Check this out. Close the door in the house. It's cold out here. We took all of the stuff out of this corner, cleaned the floor, brought this shelf out from the basement that was barely being used down there. Kind of looks like a mess, but it's not. It's pretty well organized. We now have four jack stands down there. There's the gas. I got boots down there, shop light, mandals, bike helmet, boots, rope, blower, earmuffs, blower piece, fire extinguisher, air presser, voltmeter, bike pump, car cleaning supplies. Those are his. Mine are still inside. Craftsman bag full of uh, open end wrenches and spanners and stuff. Socket set. Um, it looks like it'd be another socket set in there. That's a real nice one. This is my normal house tools. We got some yard tools. There's my car tools, his car tools, his house tools. Car towels are in there. This is going pretty well. We did take some stuff down the basement, got the bike out of the way. Snow blower has taken precedent from the mower. We got the uh, that thing in here. The blower's working well. Car's clean. This car's dirty. There's a hose still. My car's covered in snow and very dirty. Yeah, and outside, but. We've got a nice area here. There's actually room to like stand up, have two people over here looking for tools and the lights right there. And we're gonna do it's a lot of stuff. It was. A lot of stuff on the cars in here. So now, staying in uh, one clip here, we're gonna take you downstairs and show you what we what we've been doing down there. We've gone through. Uh, it, smells amazing. it smells really good. We lit this candle. That's fresh. Something scented candle smells excellent. Anyhow. In the basement, I had like that one car corner, if you remember, where I kept my wheels and all uh, kinds of stuff. We rearranged this. I don't, somebody was telling, asking me what this area was down here. This is the basement. This is the round square table where we converse. So we got these lights here. Check this out. We got a laser right there, which has all kinds of crazy stuff on the wall. We got ourselves a fountain, lava lamp, lava lamp courtesy of Bobber right there. There's another lava lamp over there. I have to turn that one on. Disco ball, I have to turn that one on. That one's on the remote. We got a stereo, quadraphonic, pioneer speakers all over the place. So yeah, this gets pretty awesome. Um, that's the train room over there. My mom's dad's German trains and stuff. So in here now is where Colt has kind of put some of his stuff until he finds a place. Tell him what you did today. What did I do today? You went to Red Lobster. Oh yeah, got a job interview. Got a yeah, job interview got a job. and got a job, so he starts Monday, so that, that went well. Here's our other light. I would like to have that in the garage, but that looks like hell and there's nowhere to put it, so that will stay. But this entire section of this shelf is now all car parts. Up there, we rearrange. That's all Christmas stuff, not eggs. So there's all the Christmas stuff and uh, um, all of this stuff. There's my old Hella headlights back there. I've got extension cords. And we didn't work too much with this stuff organization, but that's going pretty well. A lot of organization today, a lot of setup for the future. It's going to be good times. But now I have a class in seven hours, less than seven hours. So uh, we need to get to bed, finish these vlogs, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Anything else to say? We're going to get like five hours of sleep. Yeah, it's going to suck. All right, talk to you in the morning.